In this short video, I would like to introduce five simple but useful numbers in basic statistics that hopefully you may find useful in your everyday life. They are simply probabilities and these scores are based on normal distribution and they are also describe a term called VAR, value at risk, which you may hear all the time but don't really know what it means. Let's draw a normal or Gaussian distribution. It's mathematically elegant, so even though it's not an accurate reflection of a lot of things in the universe, people use it for simplicity anyway. We can assume, for example, the daily returns of a stock or the daily PL of your portfolio follow the normal distribution. If the standard deviation is sigma, a natural question is what is the total probability of the daily return? landing inside plus, man, plus minus 1 sigma, 2 sigma, 3 sigma, or its complement, what is the total probability of the daily return better than 2 sigma, or worse than 3 sigma. The first three numbers on the list are exactly those. The total probability of the daily return being inside plus minus 1 sigma is 68.2%. Inside plus minus 2 sigma is 95.4%, plus minus 3 sigma is 99.7%. It also means the probability outside of plus minus 3 sigma is only 0.3%, which is very small. Here, 1, 2, 3 are called z-scores, that is, how many standard deviations for those probabilities. And also important to understand is that these are two tail probabilities, meaning you are looking at the total probability within plus and minus n sigma. Unlike one tail cumulative probability, you include everything from one side or the other. With these numbers, you can derive those one tail probabilities, of course. For example, the probability you lose more than one sigma would be 15.9%. The probability you lose more than 2 sigma would be 2.3%, while losing more than 3 sigma would be only 0.13%. With those one tail probability in mind, it's straightforward to understand the so called VAR, value at risk. You may often hear VAR 95 or VAR at 95%, VAR 99 or VAR at 99%. What does it all mean? Value at risk is the loss of your portfolio would suffer at a given probability. For 195, it's the loss at 5% probability. For 199, it's 1%. Using normal distribution as an example again, one way to understand the VAR is just think of it as the z score. So 199 is how many standard deviations at which the one tail probability is 1%. What it says is the probability you lose more than this n sigma is 1%. And for 195 is that the probability you lose more than this n sigma would be 5%. And we see 1% and 5% or 99% and 95% here are one tail probabilities. Looking at the previous three numbers, the 5% probability is between 2.3% and 15.9%, so 195 must be between minus 2 sigma and minus 1 sigma. And the number is 1.645 sigma. While the 1% probability is between 0.1% and 2.3%, so 199 must be between minus 3 sigma and minus 2 sigma. And the number is 2.326 sigma. So these five numbers, the two tail probabilities 68.2%, 95.4%, 99 99.7% for the three z scores 1, 2, 3 sigma, and 1.645 and 2.326 sigma for the one tail probability 5% and 1% and 1% are five of the most useful numbers in my experience. And I hope you will find them useful as well. 
Okay, thanks for checking this out and I hope to see you next time.